morning in Centennial Olympic Park. I'm a little worried for the Rams because it feels like a home game for the Patriots. Just going absolutely crazy this Listen, morning. Listen, we saw it in the New York Super Bowl between the Denver Broncos and the New England Patriots. Peyton Manning didn't expect to be playing a road game, but that crowd noise was a factor early. I would expect it to be a factor yeah, early we'll, in this we'll game. We'll see if they can keep it going. A lot of fans of Tom Brady around here, but he also has a fan named Kobe Bryant who recently launched Mamba Sports Academy, a holistic training facility in L.A. for young athletes. Here's Kobe on the living legend that is Tom Brady. Is there anybody more clutch than that man? Now you get the dagger. He got it. Ice water running through that man's veins. When people use the term ice in your veins, it's kind of associated that with a person that didn't have any nerves, wasn't afraid of the situation. Calm, cool, collected. He's done this too many times. It has nothing to do with the crowd, nothing to do with the environment. You can't tell if it's first intent or third intent. He's very surgical, very precise. Brady in a traffic touchdown. Just stone cold execution. We said 60 minutes. We ain't done. A certain seriousness, a certain focus, and a certain sense of purpose. That's very hard to replicate, and they seem to do it time and time and time again. The greatest of all time, Tom Brady. That's cold blood. No doubt a lot of mutual respect there. Brady continues to pile up records at the age of 41. He and the Patriots have won the AFC East in 16 of the last 18 seasons, the most division titles all time, including this season. Brady has reached the conference championship game in 13 of the last 18 years, also the most in NFL history. He's the most accomplished quarterback in the Super Bowl and will play in the game for the ninth time, all coming since the 2001 season. And his five Lombardi trophies are the most by any QB in league history, winning it most recently in Super Bowl 51 against the Falcons. Now we are joined by our Jeff Darlington, who pulled off the impossible really this last week. Jeff, I just want to know personally how you did it. This is a team that is not necessarily known for being the most media friendly, especially as they get dialed in before a huge right. game like this. So how did it all go down? Well, Sam, I, first of all, I would point to the fact that, that I've spent a lot of time with a lot of the people closest to Tom Brady this year and a lot of time with the Patriots organization. And while that maybe helped facilitate it, I would also point out that it's been a really good demeanor around the organization this year. Uh, some of his friends have told me that Tom is just in a really good place. He's just very happy. And I think that, you know, I had a chance to sit down with him and talk about some of that. But I would point to that as probably the biggest reason. He's just in a very laid back state right now. And I think you'll see that from our conversation.